Hi, this is Ryan from Better Tattooing, and today we're going to be discussing blowouts, blow-unders. We're going to let you know what's actually happening. All right. Okay, now that that's over, blowouts and blow unders. There's a bunch of different ways that we can have blows on top of this, not being dirty, you dirty birdies. But more often than not, we're gonna be like, if you're talking to a tattooer, if you're on you know, Reddit, if you're on the internet, you're gonna see these things where people are just like, blowouts are something, right? But if you look, it never really seems consistent, right? Because sometimes you'll see this great big green mass underneath some line work that looks like something and somebody's like, that's a blowout. And another person, you know, will see just like some spots around a line and like, oh, that's a blowout. So there's such a wide range between what we see uh, being defined as a blowout that it, it's kind of difficult to discern exactly what's happening and what's, you know, actually uh, a blowout or a blow under in this case, which this is what we're going to be contrasting today. Anyways, I apologize. I, we all have the flu here, but I'm so just housebound I had to come out and make a video. So stick with me while we figure this out. Anyways. All right. So we're going to look at a blowout first, right? Um, go to our skin model that we like to use on this show. We have our epidermis, our dermis, and our subcutaneous tissues. So more often than not, when we see a blowout, what we're seeing is, because what the, what's the normal application of a tattoo, right? A needle is going to come in and it's going to deposit pigment into the dermis, right? Hopefully that upper layer of the dermis is going to be closer towards the epidermis. Anyways, um, go watch another video about this. Rock and roll. <laughs> I don't have to get into the science of this too, too much today. Um, so that's like a normal application of tattoo. So like you can have superficial implantation where we'll say that the tattoo needle is going to be hitting just the epidermis, right? It's not going to become permanent because this layer is constantly being shed, right? There's nothing specific that's going to be holding it there, um, allowing time for your immunological responses to come up and like gobble up pigment that maybe starts to escape and pull away, or even just have those uh, specific skin cells, right? Your keratinocytes or other type of a uh, uh, skin fiber cells, your collagen and elastin, which are kind of spring-like, right? To gobble up and hold the pigment in place where it just kind of gets stuck almost like a sponge. So a blowout, I mean, if you look at online, there's so many things where people are saying a blowout is when you tattoo the subcutaneous tissues, right? Your needle is going in so far that you're depositing pigment below the skin. And I, I understand that this may seem like it's right because the depth of this stuff is more commonly we see blowouts when somebody's needles hanging out, right? It's a, it's a friggin' claymore and they're just stabbing at the skin. So the assumption was, is that since it's going so deep, basically the, the ink is scattering inside the adipose tissue and it's just sitting there, right? But the, it's not really right because the, the skin here and the connective tissues underneath actually don't operate in the same fashion, right? This is below that standard immunological response that we're going to get from the uh, ECM, which is the extracellular matrix, right? It's feeding those killer cells that migrate up through the tattoo, which, you know, force skin remodeling when there's trauma, like a tattoo, and then also work on holding that pigment steady. Um, so this is, this is technically wrong. What, what's happening is actually instead of us getting into the subcutaneous tissues what we're doing is we're having pigment implantation along the extracellular matrix right the very 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 bottom of the dermis right this isn't that we've gone way too far it's that we've literally bottomed out inside the skin so what happens is we end up breaking the extracellular matrix right which if you think about this there's just a bunch of cells kind of crisscrossed in a mesh pattern that sit underneath that bottom part of the skin and what happens is fluid ends up filling into the area right? So we're going to get fluid that moves into the area and causes a separation between the epidermis, or sorry, between the dermis and the subcutaneous tissues, right? Which ends up creating a suspension of the pigment, which ends up moving out. At the same time, because this is like the highest concentration of those immunological cells that we see, those uh, melanocytes, oh, jeezy crazy. <laughs> I'll put in the cut on this one. Those macrophages that are located inside of this are going to end up gobbling onto that pigment and pulling it into different directions, right? Which causes it to spread. So when we see a tattoo that has a big bruise underneath it, right? Like if you see, we'll do this back up here. If you see someone's arm, right? This is just going to be a 
really stubby arm. Burp, burp. Anyways, um, and they have a tattoo here, right? Let's just put a hello there. Um, but you see that there's this radiating greenish, bluish, blackish, grayish, or whatever color that they may have been using for the tattoo, just going in a constant like pat, like it's it's even as it's spreading out from where the actual tattoo was applied. That's a blowout, right? Now I know that this is going to be like probably too much science to apply to this. Blowing out technically can be anything that's gone away from where anything has been set, right? But very specifically, if we're looking at it like in a scientific way of defining exactly what's going in, this is only from tattooing that extracellular matrix, right? causing it to swell, expand, and then the macrophage is doing their job to move that stuff away, right? Still is too heavy to be able to pass back down through the, you know, or even go up into any of the vascularization that's in the skin to be carried away to the lymphatic system, which is why tattoos are permanent, right? Those particles are, are difficult to remove uh, based on a bunch of stuff, which we won't do in this video. Um, and that's, that's that, right? So we get that, the blowout is a big thing. Right, it's not going to be a small thing that we just randomly be like, oh, you know, you've got a little bit of a nick off of that that line. <clears throat> so let's do this one, right? We'll do a blow under. We might do another one. Let's see what happens here. Blow under. So like a blowout, we're going so deep into the skin. A blow under is kind of the same thing, but we're going to be working inside that same area where we want to put the actual pigment, right? In the dermis. We're going to bypass the epidermis, you know, normally. We'll just make our little thing here again. It shouldn't have raised everything. Deposit into the, you know, dermis. So blow under is when our needle is at such a steep angle, right? And the volume of pigment is so great where it's being deposited, it actually forces it into neighboring tissues next to it, right? You can see this, like if you're running a line, we'll just like remove the adipose there. If you're running a line and you see, especially on one side of it, where it just looks a little bit janky, right? So one side can be totally straight, but the other side is just eh, wobbly. That's a blow under, right? And this can be big, right? It, or it can be just small, where you start seeing little dots basically popping up on there. You know what I mean? From uneven hand techniques. That's a blow under. So more often than not, I'll see people calling a blow under a blow out. But you know, nomenclature. People are being people. Um, but that's what we're here for, to help inform you. Um, See, that's it. I thought I was going to do another one. I'm like, eh, no, I don't have to do that. Anyways, <laughs> got any questions? Let us know. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Um, and leave us comments. This one was uh, given to us by somebody in the comment section in the checking in video. So let us know what's going on with that. And uh, yeah, check out our podcast, Two Dudes Do Tattoo, or Talk Tattoos. <laughs> Two Dudes Who Do Tattoos, actually, Talk Tattoos. Anyways, um, yeah, and uh, thanks for all the support so far. This has been awesome. So, anyways, this is Ryan from. Better tattooing signing off.